Hola mis amores, this is Masi with Masparco DIYs. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you guys five super cute Halloween DIYs you can make using Dollar Tree items. Hope you enjoyed the video and let's go ahead and start with the first DIY. For the first DIY, I got two of these wood signs from Dollar Tree. Removed the piece in the center and took out the inside square. These super cute ghost gift bags are also from the Latrie. Cut a piece of the bag that fits the sign square and then you want to glue it. After that was done, I'm staining the wood darker with this wood stain. Glue your sign back together and I repeated the same steps for the other sign with a different bag. For the second DIY, I got this pizza pan from Dollar Tree. It's a long way, way up to everything that we Using the same wood stain, I'm staining only the wicked ward and the broomstick. With just a little bit of this light color wax, I'm creating highlights. After that was done, I painted the hat and the broom head black. Painted the moon white and created little stitches all around the black paint with white paint. Now I'm gluing a piece of wood to the back to glue the word to the pixie pan. To add some color, I glue some of the orange wood beads from the tree and a little bow I made using twine. Then glue the Dollar Tree boa to the back inner border of the pan. I'll be using this ribbon from Hobby Lobby to hang the sign and also I'll be using it for the rest of the DIYs today. To create the candy corn pumpkins, you'll need three foam pumpkins from Dollar Tree. Mixed orange pumpkin paint with white paint to create this beautiful color. Then to paint this pumpkin, I mix a little bit of yellow with white paint. For the vase, I stain with the same stain color this wood circle from Dollar Tree. And with the same stain, I gave the pumpkins more details. When the stain fully dried, I dry brush some white paint. Then 
To glue the pumpkin to the vase, I use hot glue. I then insert the skewers to the pumpkin to attach the other two pumpkins. Once that was done, I glue on the top an old wooden stem I already had and a bow. For this next project, I found this wooden blocks at Dollar Tree. With wood filler, I'm filling the little tiny hole of this Dollar Tree wooden piece. Paint it black, the side that's not going to be visible, and for the other one, I stain it with the same wood stain. Now glue all the pieces together using wood glue. You can add letters to your blocks like boo or anything else, but I want to keep mine simple since I'm changing the pumpkin on top after Halloween for another pumpkin. And the only thing I did to this Dollar Tree Halloween pumpkin is replacing the green ribbon. For the last DIY today, I got these two wooden signs from Dollar Tree. Yeah, this is the side that I'll be using, so that's why I'm removing the paper. To attach both signs, I glue big craft sticks to the back with hot glue and E6000 glue. This step is completely optional, but I decided to cover the back with paper. I then fill the crack in the middle with wood filler. Now I'm giving the sign two coats of white shocked paint. I found this cute little house at the Dollar Tree Christmas section. I then painted the lights orange, yellow, and white. On the windows, I thought it would be a super cute and fun idea to glue little tiny ghosts. The ghost confetti is from Target and it was only a dollar. Cut the pieces of wood I got from Home Depot and they were super inexpensive. Now I'm sanding the white paint with my sandpaper, then I'm gluing the wood to the border, making sure the little house fits inside. Distress the white paint with just a little bit tiny of stain and black paint. Me, 
Once that was done, I spray painted black these letters from Dollar Tree. These letter stickers are from Hobby Lobby, but Dollar Tree has many options you can choose from. They have lots of stickers and they also have this home word that it will be perfect for this DIY too. With Mod Podge, I glue the letters to the sign. And with A6000, I glue the Dollar Tree letters. You can see a little empty space under the house so that's why I'm painting that little space black and then I'm going to glue the little house to the sign. To attach the happy Halloween little sign, I use little tacks. Okay, mis amores, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next week. Bye!